Africa is not a poor country. As I have said, our budget this year is 126 billion dollars. We also are going to reorganize the budget, restructure the budget, budget in order to avoid the wastage of a party. We will be able to use the resource, the country's resources in a more efficient manner and to prevent the corruption which is so endemic in the National Party government. Please, ladies and gentlemen. The gravy trains where most of the funds of the country have gone have come to an end. We have committed ourselves to leaders trying to lead a style of life similar to those of the, of the community. We are going to, I am going to suggest that my own salary, if I'm elected as state president, must be cut. <laughs> I am doing that unlike the National Party government which has paid large, attempted to pay large sums to the director generals when the poor people, when there are five million people unemployed, when there are seven million people without housing, we are not going to live like third case. My friends in the National Party can do that. That's how, that's what they know. Mr. De Klerk. A response from Mr. De Klerk. May I at the outset say that our deficit before borrowing is much too high. If we want to be in step and attract foreign investment and be sure of the support of the IMF and the World Bank, we will have to continue in South Africa to maintain strict fiscal and financial discipline. This is what the government has been doing by doing it. And by taking other steps, we've brought down the inflation rate to single digit figures and soon it might be 7%. We've brought down interest rates. All our economic indicators are pointing in the right direction. I'm very glad to hear that in the government of national unity, I will have the support of Mr. Mandela in being frugal with regard to government expenses. But then we must be frugal across the board because it is at the moment organizations allied to the ANC who are once again doing damage to the South African economy by strikes with regard to various disciplines. And through those strikes, they are firstly helping to create an atmosphere which is not conducive to free and fair elections. Secondly, they are harming the economic interests of the country. So I'm glad to hear that he's committed to fiscal and financial discipline. He won't have any difficulty with me in achieving that. But if he thinks that he can save on the salary of politicians enough to solve the economic challenges which we have in South Africa, then he's in for a big surprise. Thank, thank you for your cooperation, Mr. Mandela. You can Obviously, have a rebuttal. Obviously, Mr. De Klerk was not listening when I was speaking. I may well as urge that I'm happy he is going to cooperate with me if I say a state president should pay a tax on his income, on his resources, on his tax. That is what heads of state do throughout the Western world, not in South Africa. We are also going to issue government bonds, reconstruction bonds, both in South Africa and abroad to raise the funds that we need. We are going to impose a fair tax to be paid by everybody. All these are going to help her to get revenue for the country. But we are not going to live like fat cats. The days of the gravy trains are gone. Everybody should know that. <laughs>